Hi, I'm Matthew Lapp, host of Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also today in this segment, I'm at the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska, and continuing episode 29 with part two. Okay, you can see right behind me, this is a railroad signal that was attached to a depot like that one right there. I don't know if it was actually with that depot before, but that would be my guess. It would be used for the station agent to call the train or something when there's like trouble or if it needed to stop somehow. And now here it is right here next to these tracks right here at the Stewart Museum in Grand Island. What you see right behind me is Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 14038. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 14038 was built by the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad Aurora Shops in Aurora, Illinois in 1884 and is a wooden caboose. Originally, this car was numbered 127. This car was originally built to stand on standard gauge trucks because most of this system was standard gauge. It spent several years being coupled on the back end of freight trains on the railroad, and it served as the train crew's office where they would watch out for anything that would eventually go wrong. Then about 1904, it was renumbered 14038. Then it was retired, and then it was acquired by the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska. And it was mounted onto narrow gauge trucks to operate on the Nebraska Midland Railroad. Then, after the Nebraska Midland Railroad discontinued operations, it was then put on static display in this spot it is currently in. Today, it is seen here on display at the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska, where it is today. What you see right behind me is Denver and Rio Grande 5669. Denver and Rio Grande 5669 was built by American Car and Foundry in St. Charles, Missouri in 1904 and is a stock car. This car once hauled sheep from farms to whatever destination in the past on the Denver and Rio Grande. In 1926, it was subsequently rebuilt by the railroad shops in Alamosa, Colorado. Later, it was retired and it was then acquired by the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska. Also, it may have been in service on the Nebraska Midland Railroad, then, after the Nebraska Midland Railroad discontinued operations, it was placed right here in this spot next to the loading pen as it would be an example on how animals were loaded onto stock cars back then as well. What you see right behind me is Union Pacific 258. Union Pacific 2580 was built by Pullman in 1912 and is a CA-1 class wooden caboose. It was originally built for the railroad subsidiary, the Oregon Washington Railroad and Navigation Company, and was originally numbered 313. It was originally classified as a CA class caboose. It spent several years as the train crew's office on the railroad as it would be coupled to the back of freight trains many years ago. Then, in 1916, it was renumbered 3601. It would eventually be used by the Union Pacific Railroad. Between 1926 and 1931, most of the wood was reinforced by Union Pacific to have a steel underframe for the crew's safety. It may or may not be possible it was renumbered 2580 during its career on the railroad. In 1960, it was retired and was then donated to the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska. It was carefully restored. Also, it was originally displayed in Railroad Town till 2002. Then that year, it was then relocated to the current spot it is standing in. Today, it is preserved here at the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska, where it is today.
What you see right behind me is the Union Pacific Passenger Coach. The Union Pacific Passenger Car was built in 1872 and is a passenger car. This car is made of wood. This car spent several years being used on passenger trains many years ago. In 1922, it was then converted into a passenger car by the railroad subsidiary, the Grand Island Railroad, and it was likely converted for maintenance of way use. It was then placed into company service as a dining car or a boarding car for section hands, as it would transport workers from worksite to worksite doing regular track repair or rebuilding derailment damage across the system. It was then retired and was donated to the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska in the early 1960s by the Union Pacific Railroad. When it arrived on the site, it was originally displayed in Railroad Town. In 2002, it was moved to the current spot where it is on display today. Today, it can be found here at the Stewart Museum in Grand Island, Nebraska, where it is seen today. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about trains with me today in Matthew Lapp Train Guy Segment Show. Also, I hope to see you all again in the next segment, and if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, the subscribe button is just down below the video screen. And if you didn't give my Facebook page a like yet, here's where you'll want to go. And if you didn't give my Instagram page a follow yet, here's where you'll want to go as well. Also, be sure to get your merch at teesprings.com. Link is in the description box below, along with the Facebook and Instagram pages. And remember to subscribe to the Train Guy. So this is Matthew Lapp. Host of Matthew Lap Train Guy Segment Show. Sign now. Until next time, all aboard.